Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to George Mack Plays the Classics. An alien power is the menace you must destroy in silent assault. By fate or happenstance, you are the only person unaffected by the possession power of the interstellar demons. Destroy everything in your path over eight levels to killing the alien scum and liberating Earth. Run to the right, jump to avoid enemies and bullets with the A button, shoot things you want to destroy with the B button. There are three different guns you can pick up. The default is the bazooka, which shoots a rocket straight ahead. You can also find a machine gun, which allows for rapid fire attacks. The final was my favorite, and that was the shotgun. Spread shots are pretty powerful and make mincemeat of enemies. The bullet power-up increases your rate of fire. If you pick up a grenade, it can be thrown with the select button to clear the screen. The metal of honor leaves you invincible for a few seconds, so pick them up before they disappear. Some enemies drop hearts, which can be used to gain your health back. Levels are straightforward and relatively short. Ground enemies run back and forth firing their weapons. Flying enemies move in a triangle pattern dropping bombs at you. Luckily you can shoot up as well as forward. And then there are clowns. At the end of each level is a boss. Bosses require you to avoid projectiles and hit a specific spot multiple times to destroy them. These are very easy to defeat, with the hardest part being shooting at the right pixel. When it comes to grading Silent Assault on NES, graphics get a 1.5. Everything is serviceable. There are a lot of colors used. There is some flickering, but I didn't notice any slowdown. Sound gets a 1.0. The song that loops isn't very good, and the sound effects are plain. Gameplay gets a 1.5. There's not much to do, but what Silent Assault does works. Difficulty gets a 1.5. Your mission is straightforward. Levels are too easy, and there's no growth. Fun Factor gets a 1.0. It's not a particularly fun game. You just keep going through it because you don't die. At least it's short. Overall, Silent Assault earns a 1.3 and gets a D+. Joy Van and Color Dreams bring a game that technically works, but it totally isn't something that is necessary to play. Well, that's going to do it for me for today. Please make sure to like this video, let me know what you think of Silent Assault in the comments, and please subscribe to Head Drop Productions here on YouTube because we want you here for each and every video we release, because it is your destiny.